There's very few cheat codes quite like step input when it comes to music production, and I want to show you what I mean by this. The great thing about step input is it allows you to play keywords at your own pace, encourages you to experiment with the kind of sounds and sequences that you're creating with your MIDI notes. So what you want to do is go to the Max for Live user library. This is where people make devices for Ableton. Ableton doesn't have the stock. So you're going to go to maxforlive.com, search for the step input by Gaston Kilo and download it. Now I recommend making a folder specifically for all your Max for Live devices because there's a bunch of other stuff in this library you can check out. And once you make that folder, I need mine Max for Live. I just drag and drop it into my places so I can access it from the Explorer in Ableton. And then basically all you do is you create a MIDI track, drag and drop it in, and then just pick your instrument of choice. Here I have a synthesizer. And now to get it working, all you have to do is make a MIDI clip. So I'm going to highlight a section on my arrangement screen and click control shift M or command shift M if you're on Mac. And that's going to create a blank MIDI track. Now, what I like to do with this step input is I want to put it on eighth notes. Now, you don't have to do this at all, but for this one, I'm going to put it in that uh, subdivision and then I'm going to turn it on. And when I go to my MIDI screen, I want to make sure the headphone button is turned on. Now, how I use this is I like to play uh, sequences of notes in a particular key. I'm playing different voicings of C minor or C minor pentatonic. And even if you're new to the keyboards, you can find this stuff really easily for yourself just through one simple trick. I'm going to show that to you right now. Okay, so for instance, let's take a basic triad. So I have a C minor chord right here. Now basically what you can do is take the bottom note and bring it up an octave. And you can continue doing this, take this note, bring it up an octave, until you'll find yourself just going up the keyboard. These are known as inversions. And that's basically what I'm doing. I might add in some other notes for more color or more harmonic effect. For instance, you can add on the seventh, and play going up, incorporating the seventh. And another really great one is the nine, which in a minor scale provides a lot of mystery and darkness and really cool sounds. So you have this sort of uh, effect of this sound here. And you can do things like kind of moving up, hitting some more challenging voicings of that chord. But notice how I'm playing totally at my own pace. So with step input, you can just experiment on your keyboard. You don't have to be a virtuosic piano player to create amazing sequences of notes. And uh, it's really great for making original synth loops that are especially great in hip hop, pop, R&B, those kind of genres. So here's another sequence that I just created. And I'm creating it just using a synthesizer. The real trick here is using some kind of filtering or granular effect or you can, just something as simple as a reverb or a chorus can really change the sound of the synth and make it sound a little more lo-fi or a little more interesting and not just pure synth sound. But again, this is totally a creative choice. And uh, yeah, we add on a beat, maybe add on some bass and you can get something really interesting. Yeah, so step input, I just think is a cheat code in music production. And unfortunately it's not stock in Ableton, but you can easily find it, download it, put it in your Ableton for yourself. If you found this video useful, you can definitely make your own synth sounds. You don't have to use a VST like I did in this tutorial. You can go and create one totally just using Wavetable in Ableton. I have a tutorial on that you can check out right in front of you. I'll see you on the next video. Have fun making music.